The last thing that needs to be discussed in this video is Lost Ark's reputation as a pay to win game. The well has been thoroughly poisoned for this conversation since many of the people who engage in it would rather quibble over definitions. What does it mean to be pay to win? So, so stupid. Make no I mistake. actually hate that. By every perceivable metric, Lost Ark is absolutely pay to win. Modern games have discovered the financial benefits of creating friction in the process of reward. The idea that we even have conversations about the definition of pay to win is so stupid. Everyone knows what everyone means when we say pay to win. The idea of pay to progress what are you actually winning though it just means can you pay to win just means can you spend money to get power in the game that's it it doesn't need to be like there is no game where you like you sw i mean maybe there is where you swipe money and then it literally comes up you win i don't know if that's even the thing but that's not what anyone's talking about right like i feel like it's like a scapegoat it's you know you play Yu-Gi-Oh. it's like it's literally where you summon the, it, it's literally like in Yu-Gi-Oh. just just fucking quick summon like like quick summoning a scapegoat, just like whoosh, whoosh. it's just Lost Ark's more pay to progress. No, my point. That's the point. That's what people. No, but we're, you just we're, you're doing exactly what I'm saying. What does that even mean? It's pay to win. You know what I'm saying? You're doing exactly what I'm. It's just pay to win. It doesn't matter. It's not pay to progress. It, can you spend money in the game to get power? If the answer is yes, it's pay to win, right? Which is a lot of games nowadays. Granted, it's a lot of games. I don't like how many MMOs are not pay to win. Is it just Final Fantasy 14? Is there another MMO that's not? How about Guild Wars 2? I don't know. Wow, no wow is for certainly pay to win. No wow is certainly pay to win. Maple Story Reboot? No, I don't know. Honestly, the more, I mean, yes, it's not. Okay, Maple Story Reboot's like definitely like you could go, oh, it's not because there's pay, there's a lot of pay for convenience in Reboot. But I would say it's probably not pay to win. In 14, you can pay to boost characters and skip score story. No, I don't really consider that pay to win, to be honest. I don't I don't consider ca character boost pay to win, personally. I mean, VAC pet is kind of like, yeah, that's like the thing. It's really weird that how expensive that thing is. But you do pay to skip playing? No, my definition is can you pay money to get power in the game? Like like actual tangible power. I don't think skipping a story is power. Augurus, though, I mean, that's just my definition. If you, if you consider character boost pay to win, I mean... The reason why I say WoW is pay to win is you literally can buy gold in the game. And with that gold, it's so you can do anything. And the only reason why, because there's actually not much to spend gold on in WoW. It's like 14. But the reason why it exists is because uh, the reason why the pay to win exists and why people use the gold is the gold is like in turn able to be turned into a WoW token, which you can do a lot. Like you can buy, a, you can literally buy games from Blizzard using WoW gold. And so it actually has value, right? So if you want to get like in WoW, you can get carried through everything in the game. You can literally get bust through everything and get all the gear and everything like right away, like instantly when you get in the game. But, and with that gold, those people can then like turn it into like WoW, like Blizzard currency. Do Blizzard's game have any value? <laughs> I mean, yeah.